everyone, it's Mia from the Saginaw Children's Zoo and I am here with Wedgie and we're going to talk to you today a little bit about feathers, which I'm sure Wedgie is pretty excited about, right? Wedgie is full of feathers and feathers serve a very special purpose for birds. They are unique to birds and here you can see I have a contour feather. This is from a red-tailed hawk and you can see if you look up close that it is almost in one piece. That's because these little barbs are hooked together by microscopic hooks and loops. When birds preen their feathers, they repair these for flight. There's also a special oil on these feathers to repel water. So these feathers are to resist wind and keep birds flighted. And you can see the closer that it gets to the body, which this comes out of their skin, the feather gets a little more fluffy. And when there's tons of feathers all next to each other, this fluffy layer that forms is called down, and that helps trap air and keep a bird warm. All of this is really light, which is important for flight, which leads me to my next point, is that there are birds that can't fly, flightless birds. We have a few here at the zoo, like our emu, Penelope, and all of our penguins. So those feathers are a little different because they don't have to fly, so they've adapted differently. You can see that this emu feather is one feather, but in two different shafts. And they are not barbed together because they don't need to resist wind. They basically just need a protective covering. So they're pretty fluffy. This is their relative, the ostrich, which also doesn't fly. And you can tell that their feather is quite a bit different than the red tail. 